Cash Money Bags, aka the Fitness Eddie, aka the Young Vampire. Yeah. They tell stories about your boy around the campfire. Yeah. AKA Young Leonidas. Ooh, new shit. You never heard nothing like this. I'm just like this. That shit's historical. So what's going on, man? Yeah, I got <laughs> yeah, you know, to talk past it. Don't, don't, don't help me. <laughs> don't help me with my AKs. Don't help me with my AKs. I, was, I, was, I get hyped by Leonidas. I don't, need, I don't need any back help. I don't need, back help. I don't need no ad libs. For those who don't know, it's like it's the dude for 300. I don't need no ad libs. I don't need no help. <laughs> I can't do this. I don't know. The young Leonidas. See, if you blew up as a rapper, I think you would have left me. No. I think you would have left me. Nah, I mean, I'll never leave my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I said, careful, man. It was like, dude, they come right up under the wing, like fried rice. Man, fuck you. If you was my dad, I'd beat your ass. You wouldn't. I'll, I'll put you in a chokehold on the couch. That's fine. That's yeah. real fun. <laughs> oh, you don't believe it? You don't believe it? What the hell are we talking Oh, before we let in a little casting couch conversation jumped off. I was about to say some weird shit. Casting couch, all I know is about that. So that's porn shit. I'm sure someone some other shit. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay, cool. I'm I'm, all right, go ahead. Yeah. What about the casting What else couch? is casting couch? I don't know. I thought that when y'all said it, that's what I was in my head with two posts. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing else it can be. Everybody knows the legendary casting couch. But somehow it came up in a combo from the peanut gallery back here. Um, and I, I had a thought, because my homie Claude said, or actually, I fuck it, he said it. Um, if we ever get rich, he filming porn. <laughs> no, I said if I ever get poor. Yeah, I need money. I'm feeling oh, the opposite. opposite. Oh, if you ever get poor, you go to porn. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just add all right. Filming porn. Because that's how that goes. Well, whether he get rich or poor, if I get rich, we filming porn. But the point I was going to say, however, whether you filmed yourself or not, I'm not asking that. But you know how, like, hardcore porn is from, like, the undercarriage views? Yeah. Wouldn't it be wild to see your nuts from, like, the undercarriage view? It might be a little... That, that, that's, a little, that's a little crazy. That's super wild, right? Get some danglage. I've never, I've never, I'm not gonna say I never recorded myself, but I never, like that from that view, like the hard. So, so there's a producer. As your, as your AV engineer, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's not <laughs> a frame big, big enough. There's not a frame big, big enough for my frame boss. Big enough to get all that in there. Thank so, you, Clut. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, so I, I do got a question because the casting couch does um, raise another question I heard earlier a week is a little bit in from the URL, but nothing, neither here nor there. It's still mm-hmm. a question that apply here. All right, Claude said he would film porn mm-hmm. one day. You would you film porn too one day? Like if you had the opportunity, would you film porn? from a from a film point from of view? From you being a behind the camera, yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind. It'd so all right, check me out. What if somebody? What if what if a oh, producer just walked into some shit? What if a producer came to you and was like, "Hey, Mike, I need you to um, tag film this. I'm, no, I need you to film this porn, and I'm gonna pay you a million dollars. But you, it's it's gay porn. You gotta film gay porn. Uh. Filming gay porn? You gotta fit and you gotta get all up in the angles. You gotta be the camera guy, like like you the you the man. For a million? For a million oh, yeah, dollars. Yeah, let's go. So you put it in, so that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. As long as I got the splash zone, I'm cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna film it. For a million. Yo, you're for a you're filming the gay yeah. film the gay yeah. porn? That'd be a hard question. That's a million million million. Million. They don't even like take much. Yeah? Uh, yeah. For a million? For a million dollars. Did you just film it. You, you know how much Zoom is on cameras what, nowadays? What, what, else, what else you'll do for a million dollars if y'all, if y'all cool? Matter of fact, I right, cool. Wait, you guys too? Will I film it? Yeah. No, I don't, think, I don't know if I could. For a million? I don't know if I could. Damn, homie. I mean, I'm all I'm all with the, the, the LBG keys, all the letters. Steve Cash yeah, I'm Money all, I'm all with the A, because that's where I got it. Mr. I'm all with the A through Z's. That's what I'm saying. Mr. Moneybags got I'm all, it. I'm all with the A through Z's. Uh, in the, oh, in the I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. In the community. communities, I'm all with LGBTQT, M, whatever. Yeah. That, yeah. All right, so kick it up a notch. It's plus now. They, oh, yeah, plus that too. Mm-hmm. So, uh, oh, the plus includes all of them. Zaya. So, right, that's his name? What's the, what, the way his son's name? Zion? Zaya? Zaya. Z A Y. Oh, yeah, I thought I had it wrong. Yes, with him. I thought you were talking about the basketball player. Yeah, that's Zion. But anyway, um, what if they kick double notch? He was throwing the extra meal for you to join on the owner. <laughs> no. For you to just jump in on nah, the scene. I ain't, I can't do it. That, is that where your morals start? I take my first. It ain't about morals. Is uh, I could I couldn't bring myself to a homosexual act for money. I wouldn't do it. But you already in one if you feel me. I'm not, wait, that's wait, a business wait, transaction. Wait, 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 but you write to a number. You asking? Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? I want to make this all. I want to know what you're asking. No, no, what's the number? So I'm writing a check. Check would say one, one bill. One billion. 
One billion dollars. Oh, Billy? One billion dollars. Wait, what I gotta do? Am I delivering or am I taking? <laughs> If I'm delivering, I'm in. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your menu? What you gonna do? If what? I'm delivering, I'm in. I'll just close my eyes. You gotta hand Mike the gay menu. So <laughs> you gotta pick you up. You gotta look at the menu. You gotta look at the menu and see what you down to. You answer what you down to. What you, what you ordered off the gay menu? So I, I, <laughs> what's your appetizer? You got an appetizer? I don't remember the uh, what the top or bottom, but I'm gonna, I'll give. What's on the appetizer? I'll give. And what's on the appetizer side? Cause it ain't all in. You ain't just ordering. You ain't going straight to the ass. For, you don't just grab the ass. That's like the entree. To be clear, we talk about a billion, one billion, the capital B. The capital B. Yeah, I'll poke a couple. You know homies. what? Whoa, for a billion, yeah. yo. <laughs> and when I'm done, I'm fine. Like, you can't I, take I, this I, back. I gotta take off before you, you just can't like take I ain't doing it. Uh, if I gotta, do, if I if I gotta receive anything, I'm cool. No, but how how so? Stay, keeping it with what you just said, mm -hmm. delivering. How much? So what if I start subtracting numbers? What what point do I get? Oh, to? I, like, no, I, I don't have an answer for you, but I'm curious to hear Steve's answer on the whole topic. He ain't gave an answer yet. Because I'm mean, I'm the one that's I'm I'm here answering. Hey, I'm asking the questions here, buddy. This is this is our, <laughs> this, this is our show. Hey, you're under this investigation. This is our show. Are you, are you filming for a million? You said no. No, nah, I can't. I ain't filming, man. For a billion, are you partaking? Nah, man. I'm billion. I'll stand outside the building and let you do your thing. You're first. nuts. I'll stand you outside know what I'm the building. When I'm done, when I get my billy, what's that? I'm gonna use part of my billy and send some at you. So, so, so that's fine. So now you're getting it for so, free. So, so forcibly. You, so you have no problem in this culture to have you. You will pay someone to rape another individual. And no, you I wouldn't pay them to rape. You okay with that? I wouldn't pay them to rape. You. I wouldn't. What type of man are you? This is cult. This is what you stand by. I see what you're trying to do. You trying to flip it on me? It's horrible. You trying to flip it on me? Who are you? I, I'm the same G that I've been the whole time. I can't take once this. I, once, I, once I get my billy, I can't take this. And I and I extradite myself to a country with no with no press and no no social media. I'm gonna be like, remember Steve Cash money bags? Go holla at him. This is disgusting. Go holla at Steve Cash money. I can't bags. believe this is the type of person. Matter of fact, there might be a couple out there that's at you right now. I can't Mr. believe Mr. Leonidas. I can't believe this is who I podcast with. <laughs> <laughs> so when it all goes down here, pass judgment on me. When it all goes down here, I just want, I just want to course know I don't, I don't stand by this. I don't, I don't. I can't believe you went filming for a milli though. Man, I don't know if I could, man. That's crazy. My morals as a man, I don't, I just don't know if I really could. To be what do you mean your morals as a man? That's... To get all up in with the camera on some real. You know how much cameras zoom real? nowadays? Your phone. Nah, yeah, that's, nah. Got he requires. No, no. He wants you to be. You. That's part of what he's asking. There's no staying back. I got some extra zoom. I don't need to. I got a whole bunch No bill collector, super duper scope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need yeah. to be up in there. You in the splash bro, room, possibly. Bro, your phone got sixty four times. That's not what he's using. He's paying you a million to do what he wants, not what the phone can do. Nah, that ain't what you said. You said film it. I said I'll film it. Well, and now, yeah, some things aren't always in the splash. Zone, I'm cool, man. So, I'm what if you are in the splash zone during time of recording? You gonna tell him no? You gonna back out the mill? Yeah, man, I'm cool. Oh, I lose the whole mill for just getting out of the way. You didn't perform. You, you didn't finish out what he paid. I feel for. like I get the selfie sticks, though. I get I no. Way, he's not providing you with these. Bro, there's ways sticks. that we could gain this footage without me getting. <laughs> basically, what you want to ask me is what I get jizz on for a million. No, it's not what. what. No, I don't want that. You're a wild individual. Yeah, you, you. <laughs> I'm a millionaire now. <laughs> I, and I got and I got video uh, credits. What, what, what else is going on, man? What's going on? We, we, we took a long time on that nonsense. Um, I should be better prepared, but I'm not. Oh, let's say this is a total. Let's hit the brakes. Let's hit a pause. Ellipses. All that. Time out. We gotta give it up for Pop. Rest in peace for Pop Smoke. Big R.I.P. to Pop Smoke. I will. Totally admit that I wasn't the biggest fan. I remember you and it was just we just discovered. Yeah, you and a couple of homies, I was just saying that you, you and a couple of homies was talking about him, and I heard some of his music. But still, to see to see somebody twenty years old at the beginning of what they was about to get into, to be murdered like that is nuts. Man. I can't so, friend like I was the biggest pop fan. I, I definitely was aware. I definitely gave him a run. His music just wasn't for me. He just like it's like that curl. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't quite curl. Mm -hmm. Now he was giving me the gangster shit I needed, and I need to. Um, you just asked me a hair question. <laughs> he was I had to go me, back in, my, in the vault. He was giving me the shit I need to um, proceed through my life and shit, but he ain't quite give it up like I wanted him to give it up. Okay, so I wanted him to do like a Casanova, but he ain't quite give it he up. He was still figuring it. I mean, twenty years old. No, he had a thing. He had his base. He had his fan base. He was doing his thing. He just wasn't quite. For well, me. I'm saying at twenty, that, you could evolve but, into. He could be. But just imagine could've. though. Just imagine like going like. Going out so young, dog. You're only 20 years old, though. You're not even legally able to drink yet. Facts. Imagine going out before even that. Think of all this shit we've done from the time we had from at least 21 and up. was 21 well, we raised up to right up to right now at this moment, dog. He never even got to that stature ever. 
Yeah. Just out at twenty dollars. That shit almost like almost being rich and famous almost is like a fucking dub, it's a, dog. Do you even a want super that shit? Curse. Do you yeah. even want to do that shit? The ultimate. It's a super curse. The you know what? So as things were coming out, because as, as celebrities die like this, which is trash. That's like never ending story. Information. We're gonna be here again too. Oh, we be, we're in fucking February. This is the third what celebrity death this year? Second or third? Well. I'm speaking more so of somebody doing harm to someone. Not oh, like of course. But I'm just saying, but even still, shit happens. The point of it is, what I was going to say, is the, um, as, as so information, as it, uh, totally, but as information was coming out, you know how we get like faulty information, rumors, and speculation, and all that shit. Was it true that he posted his, uh, he posted, he posted his uh, address by accident online? No, he did that, but that had nothing that to do not, with that. Uh, was it a setup, like they said? We don't know. All those things are still coming out. They know on camera they didn't steal anything. Like almost maybe it's a botch robbery. Mm-hmm. But they went in and, and came out. The dudes that ran out the front door, they didn't have yeah, anything. So at this point, he just lost his life. And now so it's just the end nothing. of it. Yeah. Like you didn't get anything. I was just thinking how wild it was if he accidentally posted his address, which he did. They showed it on Worldstar and TMZ that that guy had killed. But if that's not the case and it was some setup shit, then that's the whole other conversation where it's like, like, like. Greedy motherfuckers and, and hungry motherfuckers out here trying to get it, but you ain't got to get it like that. The shit that's crazy for you to be from 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 um from Brooklyn, I believe, or, or New York, whatever part of New York. I'm not maybe it's in the Bronx, but I'm, I'm I'm leaning on Brooklyn. Regardless, you in a in for the lack of better words, the slums over there. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. doing anything over there for you to still not be safe in Hollywood Hills all the way in L.A. That's in fucking insane. And, and Calabasas, no like, less. Like, like, where are you safe at? What, you, uh, you left the hood. Like, you did what you did. What they said to do. Blueface said though, he you said, gotta check in. Yeah, not just to check in. He was saying that you, as soon as you get comfy, that's when they come for you. And just because you out here over here, it ain't sweet over here neither. I'm not sure if you. I don't know if that's third party, but Blueface literally said you have to check in, and he was literally saying that shit. He and did. that actually got him. The quote I, I read was that the as soon as you get comfortable. That's when they come for you. I don't yeah, know about anything because, but a check in. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, that was the other part of it. That, that was the other part that's of it. That's crazy. So you think, damn, man. I, I mean, that's, that's young you know, ass. Blueface, that's young Blueface talking that shit. As hip hop podcasters, I hate that we even talk. Like the check in culture, we talked about this early. Because remember early with that Detroit shit with the, with the chain? Um, what was the light skinned dude who kept getting his chain took? Bird? When Bird got his chain took and people were saying, like, you can't come in my city unless you get permission from Trick Trick. And, the permission to go into a city shit is weird to me. Like, I get it. That's street shit. And I ain't in street shit, so I don't get it. But as an outsider looking in, I'm like, how you permit niggas to walk through the gate of the city? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, the whole culture is weird, is all I'm saying. It's just fucking weird. I get it, but the blue face comment, like anywhere, any anyone else, because that's, that's, that, um, when it becomes offensive. Now, he got a problem with, um, that East Coast Crips now. Oh, oh, cause he, oh, yeah, he is a criminal. Sure. So now he, now he's got an issue with them now. So them niggas wilding. So now I'm, I'm hoping it's not an issue. Was a uh, pop smoke affiliate? Um, was Do Pop a crip? I don't, I don't even know for sure. He was actually yes, yes he was. That's right. Pop is yeah. I didn't know nothing about him. I just heard the name. I heard a couple of songs. I, I liked it. He's one of the young guys. That's part of checking. That's the that's the reason about checking in, and that's another thing about check, y'all check in, please. Like I'm. Or just try to do your best to stop this gang culture. You think I was gonna say you think they fuck with people not not in gang culture? Like you think if Gambino go out there, you got a problem? No, because he's not he's not affiliate. He's not part of So the check in process is about street shit, truly gang culture street shit. Yeah. Like if you go out there, we should be okay for the most part. Yeah, man, when you doing that shit, like you gotta you gotta pay like you gotta pay to play. Okay. I'm coming I'm coming to y'all shit. I'm coming to y'all um to y'all coast, y'all hoods, I'm finna fuck y'all hoes, I'm in y'all clubs. Getting, taking y'all money, yeah, you want to feed, you want to distribute back in these streets because you're you, you're not finna ride this wave and and bang bang this and gang it. As you explain it, just like not that. to even, it's just not to. Nah, you gotta feed feed the streets. As you explain it, like we that, keeping you safe. It actually makes sense. You keeping me from running in your shit and doing what we did. You're paying to to not to have, have this shit the happen. But then you don't you don't get to have it. Unfortunately, you don't get it both ways. You don't get to um. Claim this and claim that it may or may not have put in work, and then supersede the rules of shit. Think of all the yeah. shit that took Tookie Williams probably did just for you to come up and start banging mm-hmm. and claiming shit, and you did nothing to earn that. Like, nah, I, you want to pay? You want to pay the streets? I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm, I'm I'd be curious to know. I know LA LA gang culture is a lot more territorial. It's about your street, your block, your area, your location. Are East Coast Crips equally? Because I I know East Coast. I mean, not just Crips, but East Coast gang culture. 
and I say East Coast on purpose, excluding the Midwest because clearly Chicago and all that. But I wonder is New York gang culture as territorial based on location and street and all that to even be knowledgeable about the other coasts like that? All I know is they up there like that. They yeah. like they, they they got their numbers up and shit like that. As far as like certain blocks and certain shit like that, mm-hmm. I don't I don't know. I had never heard of a of a of a East Coast like a New York street gang until the the Treyway dudes the ninety third the ninety three the ninety third or whatever the name of the street is until they started claiming a street. I normally heard the generic overarching bloods and crips, but in, in West Coast culture, clearly we know that that shit goes down to it could be a war on this street versus that street. And they both be crips. And they just a lot more territorial with this shit and the same thing in Chicago. I will say the thing I do like about gang culture today is it's not so much I'm, I'm going to bang on blue and mm-hmm. if I'm red and vice versa. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much like I, you see you see crips and bloods all the time hanging. You see, you, I think you that's see, a lot more of the celebrities though. It's Well, I mean... The celebrity all gang members? Because well, maybe because of lower classes and on TV like that, so we don't. I mean, they aren't they aren't commercialized, so we don't know what they're doing. But I'm only assuming it's regular as long as they're respecting each other's side. Yeah, it's interesting how gang culture works. If you if you think about gang culture and how we could all be over, like Crip could be the thing that we all claim, but something happened between this street and that street, and now we beefing within the Crips because the Crips is so large as a as a as a uh, membership, if you will. That it got that big that now we can beef street to street, if that makes sense. Like if it was just ten of us, it's us ten. Now it's a thousand. So it's then ten versus that ten versus that ten. It's 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 a large institution, I guess is what I'm saying. We see it all over celebrities. We see uh, people growing up in the streets. We just named three major cities in the U.S. New York, Chicago, uh, L.A. Huge gang culture, and that though that the, that pales in comparison to wherever else it exists too. In peripheral places like Jersey, Oakland, uh, wherever outside yeah, so of Chicago, so I don't know, so on and so forth. It's just the gang culture thing. I'm saying it's interesting from a point of view of not knowing anything about it. But if you got to check in and you a part of that, if you flagging your music and you flagging on your shit, and that's part of how the process go for you to be okay, check in. Do what but you without do. all the details, I don't even know if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. for all yeah. I know, because I believe that it. That Somebody was, his, that, was his, shit. that was his condo, exactly. I believe. So it's like he lives there. So ch- like check in every time I come home. And he didn't even check in when he came to live there, maybe from the beginning. I mean, but who know all all we like that's what Blueface said. Like nigga, yeah, I don't yeah. think Blueface is a nigga people running yeah, to I'm, 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 I'm definitely updating Blueface on the so everyday. So I, who, who knows what the hell is happening? I don't know shit about Blueface neither. I do want to be very clear here, because I you see me treading lightly, like, you see me on camera. I don't know shit about this gang culture and not to be offensive to anybody who do. I don't know. I'm just asking the questions and I'm curious. I guess it's Blue Face is from a very popular gang in LA. School, Which one? Speak school, up. Schoolyard Crip. Yeah. That's a that's a very popular um Rolling Sixty, that's the biggest uh, Crip set in Los Angeles. But Schoolyard is right behind School the Nip. Yeah. That's Rolling Sixty, that's the biggest. And then you got uh, where Schoolboy Q is from, Hoover's. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, Hoover one of Roller Sixty's biggest enemies. So it just it, see, man, that's that whole. It, just like you guys are saying, like L.A. is. It, that's why they always tell East Coast gangbangers, you know, don't play. Not saying that cats out there ain't serious about this shit, but it can be. It's very delicate. That's why everybody was mad at Cardi B when she was saying that shit because. You, it's some shit you don't play with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, niggas die. Yeah, y'all with my bad when, No, you cool. When, when niggas at war about some real shit and it's this block versus that block because they killed, you know, uh, I forgot who said it in the song. It was like, uh, fuck that truce to kill my cousin, something to that effect. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, whatever the bar was, it's it's one of those things where, let's say it like this. Let's flip it from gang culture. If this was countries, like you just joking about being like uh, what you call yourself Leonidas whatever the fuck you said yeah they do call me uh, they don't <laughs> they, 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 they call me that out of here. anyway the, so Leonidas was the king of Spartans he defended against um, King Xerxes and if you saw the movie 300 that's what it was about however two of the largest countries or dynasties at that time was at war Greece versus um, first the Persians. We got history books detailing these types of stories and not to be super nerdy, but it would be interesting to see the dynamics of how these gang culture shits, what happened to cause this versus that. Like if somebody did a documentary, I remember Chappelle had a jokey one where the shoe, remember the first person to step on the shoe and the dude with the brrr, 
remember that whole shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be interesting to see like one of those like History Channel docs on like street culture and how did it get to where it's at. Right. How do the streets? How are they divided? The only people who know this shit is niggas who live over there and police. That's it. Like. If somebody actually like if the if the Crips finance their own documentary, it'd be kind of interesting to watch. I'd be curious to see how it all works without getting anybody in trouble. You know? Yeah. Well, let's do one. I don't know how to yeah. fuck. They they got a few on like Netflix and stuff where they go like remember they were joking on um what's the dude from Battle Rap Nutty Block uh, uh, every fucking bar yeah talking about I, know I can't think of his name. Got it. Got it. God, they were joking on Gotti for appearing in some documentary that was filmed on his block, and they were talking about how he getting some side cash selling wigs or whatever he do. I've heard battle rappers attack him about that, but it's interesting that somebody would be willing to go into the hoods and film these guys, whether master or not, talking about what they. I'm do. not the Gotti. Just to, and then we can wrap this up. But yeah. pretty much the Gotti shit that was on some real shit was on Gangland. Yeah, Gangland Gang was a show. I, I and it was so, and that's yeah. not a that's not a play show. Is they really? No, no, was, no, no, I'm not saying you said play show. I just think not. Like, that's the watch. So when I'm a, obviously you know I'm in this battle rap shit yeah. like all the way. So when so as far as that program is like, no, the guy did this documentary for some Gangland shit. Yeah, like that's that's gang said. You can fucking like, what do you mean? Like, to my point, joking. I was saying it'd be cool if somebody did it. Apparently, and I think Gangland did do it. And I, I think it's dope it. that guy got getting money outside of just the streets, which oh, is in the the Asians do it all the time. With the shit. Don't, That's don't get it twisted shit. what I said about what battle rappers was attacking him about. I'm not attacking him about because, yeah, get your side money. A legit hustles is where it's at. Real hustle, real. You don't want to be going to jail legit, over, over the street. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I was saying is it'd be cool like if Gangland continued to expand and grow and be able to do what they do. I haven't seen any Gangland episodes, but I'm going to watch it. That shit's been around forever. That shit's huge. And it's just, and it's more, Gotti was a no more newer one. Gotti only, that nigga. But that's exactly what I was asking. 28. About. You know what I'm saying? yeah. yeah. But it's exactly what I was asking yeah. though. Yeah, Gangland, they got that shit. They, 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 they got a few of them that's like covers like the cartels and shit from like South America and, and Mexico. But we won't have to stay here super long. My nerdy ass, my history channel nerd ass will just love to see like where did the like I for those like if you don't know that this whole shit started in Chicago and then migrated out to LA with the uh, Vice Lords and the and the gods, I believe it was, they became the Bloods and the Crips. And however that whole thing worked, it'd be interesting to see something filmed and even if they make the money off of it. I would be interested to watch it. Yeah, I'm cool. sure. That, yeah, it definitely uh, get some views. We got way off topic, but rest in peace, Pops. Yeah, R.I.P., buddy. Um, leading into the next topic. So Pusha T had a verse on uh, Jada Kiss's upcoming album. That shit dropped Friday, I believe. I believe it's 28th. Uh, we did. We reported that here on Pour Up. But yeah, um, the 28th, which is next Friday. That album's supposed to drop, and Pusha T had his first pull because the song, I believe, was called Killing Season. And in it, he was taking aim at rappers in the game and talking about robbing and killing rappers in the game. He himself decided after the Pop Smoke murder mm-hmm. to remove that album because he just said he didn't feel right putting that energy out there after something like this happened. Okay, that makes sense. Thoughts on the process? Like, obviously, props <coughs> for him for being a stand-up dude. But the the content of his verse and... Well, I just wonder how bad was it for you to got pulled the whole verse? Like, what, were, what, what you said? Like, what were you saying? What if prophetically he mentioned dude's name? Well then, I I would understand. They could also bleep that part out. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't know if they like if they felt it should be pulled. Then understand. Hopefully he um he gives Kiss another verse. I still would love to hear a um. I don't know if he had put had enough time. No, it's digital. He can record no. today and they can fix it. But you know, it take a lot of time to re um to for distributors and all of that. It probably took a lot to remove it to add another verse. It probably be crazy. Well, nah, it's, it's, how hard was it for Ye to switch his album up like every week? Well, I'm sure, I'm sure the distributors is annoyed with Ye doing that shit. I don't know. I, like they, they gotta be. I just will hope whatever it is, even annoying or not, because mm-hmm. I would like to hear push. Hopefully, yeah, we're push both gave push us fans. something. We're both Kiss fans. Like, like, push, I'll, push and Kiss being on the song together. Yeah, it's so, like the pinnacle of like. So we're pulling, talking like ninth grade Mike and Steve here. I, I, so yeah. pulling his whole verse. I mean, I guess Kiss would have to also pull that song. It depends on what Kiss was saying. That's what made me think. Push said something close, like, I'm coming after all you young rappers or something like that. Something that made him feel obligated to pull that verse. Because the exact quote was, it felt eerie with what's going on and what was the theme of the verse and what was being talked about. I need. I felt like I needed to have him removed. All right, well. Stand-up I mean, guy, sucks for us as the fans. Timing sucks, too. You never want to see Pop Smoke get murdered. And we definitely didn't want to see a Push verse get pulled. Maybe it'll get maybe it'll um, get re-released mm-hmm. on its own or somewhere down the line. But um, you know what? This point, remember I, we got the push verse from the Wayne shit that got pulled. Yeah, 
We still got it. Somebody leaked Somebody probably shit. gonna leak it. Yeah, somebody can um, leak it. And if it don't, I feel um, Push and Kiss owe the fans a record, then I guess, and Push probably owe Kiss more than they owe the fans, but mm-hmm. he gotta heal him something. Maybe we he get like an a album or something. A whole entire album for <laughs> yeah. one verse. I would like I'll it, but agreed. I don't think that's quite. I'll be agreed. But it just push your kids. It'll be bar heavy. Yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't even understand. You'd be calling me Mike. I, I don't understand these bars like you normally do. No, give me that. No, I wouldn't even get quiet. <laughs> uh, I, honestly, I'm gonna give it a buck. I don't even know if I would. I, of course, I would listen to it, but I don't know if Kiss and Push would really mesh for a whole album. Like, like you still this a, a style clash might occur there. Hmm. Like those two may not sound good. It would sonically. depend on like where, the kiss. I think the kiss yeah, might be the style. That's just fire. Styles and Dave East had some shit, and that shit was fire. That shit was. Dope. I can't think of nothing else. Who who kiss ever had some shit with that that would like a whole album other than the locks. We should have got a whole kiss and styles album somehow, but we did. But uh, I still owe you that sheet album too. No, I actually have it. You got it again, Silverback? Yeah. Huh. I don't know how I got the hard copies. See, so you had it the whole time. I did. You slandered me for years about that shit. Yeah, I'm still going to. <laughs> Nothing's going to change. <laughs> Nothing's going to change. Are you serious? You really got that shit? Yeah, I got it right now. Let me hold it. Nah. <laughs> really? You download it on your little whatever platform. Wait, for those who don't know, I borrowed this dude's CD. It was Sheet Loose Silverback Gorilla. Mm-hmm. And I borrowed a CD, and around the same time, I got into a car accident. Somebody hit me and told him my whip. He had my shit for too long. And how do you think I got my shit back? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, so, oh, you told him. About <laughs> was it? Did you ever catch a driver? Did you? What happened? Was it a hit and run? Yeah, it was a hit and run. How I got my shit back? Fuck you. No, we, they called him. It was some uh, Spanish dude. I, I, I was swift with it. And was he, was he drinking? <laughs> yeah, he was drunk. How you think I, I switched out the body? Did you know the story? I dragged the nigga in the front seat. I made sure I got my shit and I scurried off. Anyway, why you think trouble to build that wall? This dude Steve slandered me for years and years. Talk about I still had his because I did borrow it for a minute. I but, got it back that night. But he was, you were painting me like our, what Los used to do to us was borrow our shit and we would never see it again because it would get destroyed or something. <laughs> but you was painting me in that light and I was like, I'll take care of shit. I'm, I'm still going to. And my and my whip got totaled and I thought I left it in there. So when the car gets totaled. Salute, salute, salute to Jorge. <laughs> it was Pastor. Jorge. Pastor Humberto Lopez. But they now, reported I a lot of Spanish niggas. I don't know. They, um, they totaled my whip and when they totaled your whip, they tow it away. They let you get some valuables. But at the time, I went thinking like CD player. So I thought Steve shit. I grabbed all my CDs out the middle thing, but not what was in the in the CD player. And this, I only got that. We would have to check the year, but it was 05 when I got an accident. 04 or 05 when I got an accident. I only got that. I had to get me me. Man, it's funny that you have it. I feel like I, I owe an me, apology. Man. Nah, nah, fuck all that. Damn, dog. The, man, man, I'm, the friendship is online unless I get an apology. Fuck it all. I ain't got nothing else to say. To you. <laughs> <laughs> we still can record the pod, but I got, I'm, I'm going to talk to the fans. Nah, but uh, what, what, how, how we get here? What's you really got that album. That's bothering me. I'm uh, not bothering me. It's funny. Nah, honestly, me. I don't even know if I got it. I'm, it's I'm, I'm, it's I'm, comedy I'm, if you I'm, do. I'm joking. I really don't need um, it. Where are we going after the Pusha T-shirt? Oh, yeah, the Pusha T-shirt. Yeah, so I don't even think if they even got like... I just don't even know if they would if they would mesh well like for a full album. A record? Sure. Give me the record. A short album? Eight I, songs? I, I, eight eight songs. I, would, I would take... I would listen to it all. If they gave me 83 songs. Here's what it would take, in my opinion. It would take... Uh, one, they would have to come toward the middle because I think Push, is, Push lyrically has been on some other shit if you will like on some uh, social conscious type shit for the most part mm-hmm. and, and Jada is still rapping like he in the streets I'll be interested once we hear the album next week mm-hmm. where Jada is and if he's still on street shit and Push still on the social conscious at if this they stage, met somewhere in the middle at this stage because I think Kiss at this stage oh it's like a, a 444 at this stage in his career yeah like, yeah, yeah I like Kiss, I get it. We probably, all know you can rap. Probably yeah, yeah. more than Jay Z owed it to. Kiss is Kiss is stamped and stable. No, just about the same. Like they're just about the same. I, they both been in the game about the same amount of time. Yeah, it was about ninety six. Like, like uh, both affiliated with Big. Both. Both both Def Jam artists. Like mm-hmm. both. Like it's just it's all about the. And I believe Kiss even signed a rocket. He did sign a rocket for that one time. I'm curious where Kiss is in life in general. Is he married? Got kids? And shit? I don't know nothing about. What, I see Kiss. I see him doing interviews and shit. He got a little hair again somehow. <laughs> we probably should look into that. No, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with my body too. I was just joking. But um, he got his hair back. He he got the Dion, and I'll just be curious where he had in life to hear it in the music. Yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to uh, to the Kiss album. Obviously. Definitely. Uh, Royce gave us an introspective album last time with the um, what was the album? The last album it started with B. I don't remember what it was, but the, I can't the, think right now. 
too many, too many, too many records in my head. The one that he threw to his dad. But Royce gave us some introspective, like life type shit, growth, and where he's at. I would love to hear that shit from from Kiss, a uh, god level MC, uh, lyricist, mm. to give us like, here's where life is, and here, you know, here's how I'm living it. Yeah. After being in the game for fucking what 30, 34 years. A minute. Uh, twenty four years. Twenty four. We said thirty four since we were since we've been alive. <laughs> yeah. Kids came in around ninety six, so you say ninety six, two thousand, two thousand and now, twenty twenty. Ninety four to present is what his Wikipedia page. So. Okay, so I was close. Twenty six mm-hmm. years of Kiss in the game. We know you got drug bars. So did Push. Push showed us other levels. I would love to see from from uh, Kiss. Anyway, let's take a break. Support podcast. We'll be right back. And we back after our dreams been refreshed and all that. Steve Cash won't have for the poor podcast, aka Nah, you know, beat. I took a sip of the drink. Um, we in here with. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Be what you think, um, <laughs> Mike Lake. I'm in here with. Good, man? How you with feeling, man? Steve Cash, aka Slurpee. Um, Pause. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was part of your AKA. Uh, <laughs> I am Slurpee is good. That, the, that's, I'm going to make t-shirts of that. The other half of the poor podcast. I am Mike Lake in the building. Thank you for throwing it to me, Steve. Let me take the head off for a moment. Let's get to the Eminem Crick interview. Right. I know you didn't watch. I did. Oh, um, so it's, it's video too? It is a video, but it ain't nothing to see. Just Eminem talking. And... So Royce got his show called Chris Corner. All right. And uh, it's a podcast. It's, it's on YouTube. I've checked out a few episodes here and there. I think Royce's show, I mean, I'm saying Royce, it's Crook, it's Crooked Eyes show, it's Crook Corner. Uh, he was interviewing Eminem and they were talking. Actually, the album we're going to review later if we got time is uh, the allegory with Royce. He used a snippet of it, but the gist of it was the major takeaway from the interview was Eminem openly admitted, he, yes, I'm a guest in hip hop. That's wild. I, you know what? I actually seen a clip of that. I know I, I didn't click it, but mm-hmm. I've I seen that clip and I meant to click it. I don't know, it was just a, it was just the, the, um, the thumbnail with Eminem. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that he was, um, going was sitting in front of the, 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 it was just the, the thumbnail. Mixing board. I, I don't know what he's in front of. Yeah. It was just his, his face in, they in sit the in studio head. in front of a mixing board in Dre's studio and they're talking. Yeah, it's like, I don't, I, I, just, I just seen it real quick. It just, and it just said that M, the caption was like, M, admits he's, he's a guest. He's a guest. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to click that later and see what the fuck is up. So that's what he was talking to Race about. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what he was talking to Crook about. Just him being a guest and he's not, he's not a goal. Uh, the, I, don't, I don't remember the not a goat part, but he definitely admitted he's like. He says, "Who's the king of hip hop?" And Eminem admits he's he's a guest in hip hop. That's the only yeah, thing yeah. caption say that I'm looking at. Yeah, that doesn't mean he's not one of the goats. Um, I don't and, know if he said I'm not a goat. I don't know if he, I, said he never that. said that. To my recollection, if he did, because the term if, if um if he mentioned he's a guest in our shit, which I agree, and I said stated plenty of times like even though I do fuck with him obviously and he's definitely one of the best, I still feel how I feel about. We're, we're very accepting, even though he's amazing at what he does, but we're a very accepting culture. And and M did pretty much come in and take a black man hustle and we allowed it. But neither, neither here nor there. M, he M has good. been open about that for a while. He's referenced himself as uh, the, the um, Elvis Presley and shit for as far back as the Eminem show. Yeah, so he has. He's, he's been knowledgeable about being a guest in the shit because it's our culture, it's our shit. But he grew up in it too. Yeah, he did, but yeah. still, it just but still, it just he, is what it is. It's yeah. still our shit. Even but though you get grandfathered in, I'm sorry, you 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 grew up how you grew up, yeah. and I mean, it, to me, it looks like your privilege has succeeded. <laughs> I mean, I want to tell you, if, if you came in our shit with your privilege, if, still, this is a cape for him. But if we're gonna talk about privilege, you think what he describes as his life? There's other privilege. there's other Eminem esque rappers who are black and would never get the same recognition that M has got. But M doing it, M got his shit because, literally because he is white. I don't want to take away from that, but we can't act like that's not the truth. It isn't, it isn't. I think there's a difference. Damn, I care, should I think of a buddy name right now in my damn Jay-Z. head? Nah, no, I mean, more. He's a, I'm talking about a black, a black, oh, a black guy that's like Eminem. Yeah, like literally the, the same name, but he'll never get, that's corny when you diss uh, and all that shit. The dude with Hobson? Yes, Hobson. Yeah, Hobson. Literally, come on, then this nigga can rap his Hobson nice. You, well, I know that you know yeah, that, but not that. I mean, so yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's well, literally well, here, this isn't a definitive M&M take, but like I said, he's openly admitted. I'm to glad he did this. so. Yes, because yes. it's true. In this in this interview and prior to this interview, um, the interesting thing that I took away from that discussion specific, he did frame it properly. He he was just talking about 
who he's a fan of, the people he went back. He was talking about Naughty by Nature, uh, Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Mm-hmm. He was talking about Red Man, how he's a fan, which we know. Uh, Crook asked him about the list. The uh, Reggie, Jay Z, Tupac, and Biggie, Andre from Outkast, Jim, yeah. Rupp, Nas, and Nick. Crook asked him about that. He said his only regret about that list. He said that list still holds true to this day in terms of who he thinks is great, but he wish he didn't put it in an order. That's the only thing he said he regretted about that list. He wished he didn't give it an actual top to bottom order, of, even though he think he's still at the bottom. Being a guest in hip hop or being. And I don't believe him, by the way. But go ahead. About the list? No, I don't believe he thinks he's at the bottom. I think I think oh, it's say, smart that's for him what he to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's smart for you to say, no, I ain't at the top, but no, nigga, I'm at the top. Well, one thing he's held true, I, I don't know home. what he thinks, but one thing he has held true through his whole career is that when people give him accolades, he doesn't seem to think of himself. Mm-hmm. He never gives himself the king. He, he even said it in an interview, he's like, I'm not the king of anything. I never said I was a king of any of this shit. He's like, I just do what I do when people put me there and I'd say thank you. And M's are your favorite rapper, though, right? M's one of my favorite rappers, yeah. All time, he's up there with him, Jay-Z, Lupe. They, they, they're my yeah. top three in my... If I had to give a top three right now, that's top three. Uh, M is dope because he's a technical rapper. So this is one thing that I took away from the interview. Actually, before we get to that, let's get back to the to the, to the the guests and hip-hop shit. He openly spoke about white people being in rap, getting more of a privilege, if you will, than the average... Uh, than the average black person mm-hmm. who's who's at their culture and for whatever reason he's more highly favored he's not dumb to the fact that he sells 10 times platinum because he looks how he looks not a lot of them experience that success but one of the people he pointed out was Macklemore getting the um, Grammy over Kendrick he's a big Kendrick fan he knows Kendrick personally apparently from what he's I mean he knows Drake so you know mm-hmm. him Kendrick but he was talking about it so it, it was interesting to hear him give it up like that, like candidly. But also, I will say, I never not like we haven't seen too many interviews from him. But for the most part, him has, he's always admitted that shit. Yeah, like, he's always been open about this. Look at my eyes, baby blue, baby mm-hmm. just like yourself. Mm-hmm. If they was brown, shady blue, okay. shady sits on the shelf. Uh, the next line when you're that, ooh, baby, that, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. M is M is always been open about that fact, but that still doesn't change the fact. Nah, just yeah, right. And I respect M. Like he's literally. Clearly, one of the best lyricists ever do it. Mm-hmm. But just because you are, it doesn't negate the fact is you, we as a whole culture still allowed him in and really take our hustle and then deem him one of these shits when his other is just as good, if not better. And hell, let's look, let's look right across to his it's partner, uh, Bad Meets Evil, Royce. Royce never got the love him got, and they lyrically on the same level, if not better. Yeah. Like, pick, take your. Take Can your pick. Choice. I like, think eight one A one B they alternate, but Royce never had the ten times platinum sales. Eminem is one of the highest selling rappers ever, all time. Also, the Beatles, Drake passed that now, but a, Eminem has that status as a pop. This is what I, this was off air, but I had a debate with Guru last week. I was trying to explain that rappers exist as rappers, and they also grow to be pop stars too. Just because your pop doesn't negate the fact that you're still right. Rapper. He grows Eminem shit blew up more because I mean again, like he said himself in White America, mm-hmm. the shit like he's literally I could be in, one of your kids. Like he literally looks like one of their kids. Yeah. So it's like yeah, I fully I agree with him to the fullest, and I'm glad he's acknowledging it. But also just because you're acknowledging something doesn't change it. Doesn't change the <laughs> fact that like, like, it was not his fault. This was his scheme in, in Eight Mile, if you remember. Just just because you point out. Like, yeah. Uh, about living in the trailer park. Yeah, pop doctrine ain't his ass up. Like, right, like tell some tell people some of y'all know about me. Well, nigga, you right, you are in this trouble. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ace your ass up still. You, you're still a bum. I'm still gonna get my shit off. I'm not gonna just look at the crowd and not know what to say. Yeah, really? I'm gonna say everything you just said and keep it going. Exactly. Yeah. Like, bitch, you're right. So let me get my shit off. That shit should never work. I never. And today, in today's hip, I want to get off topic. In today's, today's battle rap, battle rap, that should have never worked. Anyone around would be like, oh yeah, you're right. And now I'm gonna add on to my shit. Uh, they would. I would flip it on some like, do you agree? Shit. Like, I would have repeated everything. Everything he said and make sure he agreed with me every time for everything he said but um how do you feel so i will say this do you think there is a line of distinction though between eminem and other white rappers i'm gonna give you some other white rapper names macklemore yellow wolf uh gez nf i keep going these guys are cool and they're good but they ain't eminem good no. eminem has shown like a proficiency in this shit yeah he's even good. though he's white Eminem definitely um my favorite white boy rapper. Period. Like he he smashed all the other white boys. 
Hands down. He's the goat of that shit. Um, even I, I saw, you know how when women rappers come in, eventually you just say, like, Nicki Minaj is a dope rapper. Mm-hmm. Period. Eminem is a dope rapper. Period. He gets that respect from these other guys yeah. and all that shit. But if we are going to make it a race thing, we do have to point out some of your white privilege. But I think Eminem's white privilege is different than Macklemore's white privilege. I feel like Macklemore... I don't know this to be true. I feel like he was at least middle class or above, and Eminem apparently lived in a trailer park. But, uh, but Macklemore never came in with the same presence and stigma that M came in. M came in on some gangs. Look at look at the people that was even close on him. He would D twelve like proof. These are like street niggas too. Like it's like M was his homie, right? But regardless, does that not give but you Macklemore validation? doesn't. He, no, I mean, I'm just we're comparing the, the, the white boys. Like Macklemore doesn't have that. Um, that um, Machine Gun Kelly doesn't have that. Steve, what's the criteria? As what far as what? As far as what may, what would make a white rapper, they're never going to be equivalent because of them, the melanin in their skin, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, but when I think about him and his trailer park, you know, as to me, that, trailer park that's, that's where I was going. Trailer park equals, equals projects. It's literally, you know they're, they are, they literally run parallel together. The only difference is the fact that this black culture that we as a whole allowed him in and we hold him a lot higher, just falls back under the whole massive shit. That's the whole, and this is just, that's just the masses of the situation. I say M's one of the goats, not because he's white and not because, not because he's white or isn't. His lyrical ability and talent. But at the end of the day, we let a white man come and take a black man hustle. That's what has been said amongst the culture and overall. And my opinion with that is like, yeah, that's true. Yes, he is fired, but yeah, that's true. We not we we're not always allowed in certain shit, but we always allow uh, people in our shit. And, I and that's what it boils. That's just what I'm. I, if we're, if we're looking at it in binary terms, and this is I, at no point is this me versus Steve. We're best friends forever, and Claude and, and the rest of them. And I like him. And I love yeah. the fact he's in. I wanted. I just wanted to be clear before I said the next thing. When we get into these debates about letting white people in, there are certain white people that I feel like are inherently in and here's I'll just give a, a simple topical reason when um, when people are being dis- disenfranchised for the most part and disenfranchisement is specific to voting but when people are being segregated or, or per, uh, what's the word uh, being kept out shit mm-hmm. I can't think of the word oppressed oppressed is one but when, discriminated it, whatever the fuck the word <laughs> I I've been I've been whatever the word is when you when you're being uh, prejudiced against when people are prejudiced against you that exists as a black white thing but what a lot of low income poor white people don't realize is that that includes them too Mm -hmm. people like trump don't look at low like middle class to low white people as equals to them either there's what they call ivy league and below and i'm not saying that we got to include all of them but sometimes they grow up around us sometimes they grow up in our hoods we know them they they grow up in the same hoods and if people who vouch for him, like Proof and D12 and Royce, people who we deem to be, whether they real or not, but whatever we deem to be that level of real or authentic experience, he even had a white homie. He kicked it with us. He didn't grow up with us every day. What, it's not about, it's not about, not, for me, it's not about having white homies not. That's fine. I'll, I'm Even though I fully understand, I accept him and want him and more lyric, lyrically inclined people win. I just completely understand the whole other side of people who's like, nah, fuck that. It's like, whether I rock that I, I or not. The question I, the question I was about to ask you is, as we can't make it a binary conversation, but if it is or isn't, then yeah, I agree with you. But if there's some kind of nuance in there, do we not include low-income people in the struggle too? I don't think it's... If I, you grew up in the projects with a white chick, she ain't, she ain't go through the same shit as you? Yeah. And if hip-hop but is the all, voice of the, the oppressed, is, but, he can't have that voice? Of course, M can, and he and he did, and he does. I believe M's oppression is a lot more realer than G Easy. But I don't. I don't know shit I'm about. Not, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know shit about. Just like, from what I see, your hair is combed over. Your shit's super weighty. You wear a lot of high fashion shit. When M came in, he had a t shirt on and some fucking baggy jeans. But Mike, I think from from the engineering desk, I think what Steve is pointing at, and they make and I, just you tell me if I'm wrong, Steve. If you put. Eminem from the trailer park in a in a suit or a, or a, or a, or a, oh yeah he would look like you already you yeah, already yeah, yeah, you yeah. already did yeah. right put put, yeah. put put him in a polo I agree shirt, I agree with that some khakis but we never saw him like that 
But I think that the, the problem is, is that you could do that to that person and it would change who they are. It would go a lot further us, than one of they us. They still see black skin. Yes. That's the fact. Black skin says, right. still, and, still right. a nigga in a coup. M is not never and still a nigga in love. Well, with the first, yeah. the first sentence and first comparison Kate, you gave, even though, like, I understand how this can sound like I'm against, which I'm not. I'm just strictly saying I understand within the culture, I understand people was like, you know what, fuck that. People like Lord Jamar, mm-hmm. who just do not fuck with Eminem yeah, at all. Well. For certain reasons like this, mm-hmm. I don't agree with him. But it's like, dog, I can't tell you wrong. I yeah. feel you, and I understand. Your, your and I, and your you're experience. right. Yeah. Lord Jamar is right. Yeah. With having was saying things like, "We let a white boy take a black man hustle." Now you are right. I get it, and I agree. But that don't mean keep him completely out because he did grow up certain ways. But I will also have to acknowledge the fact, Hobson, for one, just like in Eminem. How come you don't get the same respect? I wish, I wish he could. I wish I could give him diamond yeah, status. Yeah, we, we 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 wish because that's yeah, what we are. But yeah, we yeah, told the masses, yeah. so because the masses will accept the Eminem but not the Hobson. Yeah, that's not because he white. Which Eminem has also literally says because, because he's, he's white. white yeah. He says if I was black, I would do the math. I would have so half. Yeah, like he says it himself. Yeah. He he himself is like, yeah, I know I'm popping because I'm white. Yeah, and then I can have this conversation with someone else, let alone a black someone else who's like. Nah, it's because he's lyrically fired. Nah, him, himself has said, let's do the math. If I was black, I would have so had. If I didn't have to graduate from Washington High School to know that, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. Would you give the Ooh. same consideration to the opposite if there was a, uh, if we mentioned Hobson? A black pop star? No, no. Hobson spitting um, in like bars. So so here's, here's where my fandom comes in at. I guess I'll just say this. My fandom comes in at the technical ability of this dude to rhyme words in a way unprecedented to me, mm-hmm. I don't think even Jay Jay is one of my faves, and there's a lot of dope ass rappers like Royce. Royce is Royce and M are one A one B to me, but M rhymes words in a way that are fucking nuts, and I, like, I don't know how this dude mind does that kind of shit. I don't, yeah, he's white, but nothing. I don't connect with him. Loaded Lo- Lo- Lux can do it too. Yeah, and who who's my favorite rapper? Well, it's it's Lux. fucking Loaded Lux. Yeah, come on, you know that. But anyway, whatever you really know or not, Loaded Lux is my favorite battle rapper. Lupe is my one of my favorite rappers. Uh, Jay-Z ain't on their level, but I think M is on their level. We're mentioning the lyrical gods, if you will. And I just like that ability to do that. M content has nothing to do with race or not or whatever. I don't give a fuck what he's talking about. I never want to kill my mama day in my life. I love my mother. <laughs> yeah. I love my mother. I, I never want to kill my ex a day in my life, I say loosely. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I can't connect with what the fuck he's talking about. But we talk about his ability to rhyme words on a page. That's just different. M's different. He's just different. He puts shit together differently than anybody else. I tell you what, M was fire. And I fuck with Hobson. M M was fire. Clearly fire. And we, yeah. and we, and we talk about ninety six. And, 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 and we all accept him. And I tell you yeah. what, Lil Nas X tried to country shit. They tried to. They, 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 they got him the fuck out of there. See the difference yeah. in between what is what you know. What I'm saying even with, even with a Billy Ray cosign. But mm-hmm. see the difference. Nah, get this nigga out of here. The difference here. though with Lil Nas X is that he he's. Actually succeeded. He is more no, he did his thing. Ever. One of the most popular. You're one thousand percent correct. Right. As an Eminem. But the hate never came. It was never said. It was get this nigga out of here. Nah, this ain't like country. Get this, never get did. this nigga out of here. You know that people say it, it's not rap because them did it. I never in my life heard someone say it's not rap. I never heard nobody say it's not rap, but I feel like people just automatically discredit him because he's white. I just the world accepted this man from day one. You don't think that will not since X since of uh, nine. And uh, it's great. I'm, it I'm sorry. I think I think you said what? Called? You know Lil Nas X and M are kind of parallel in the cultures of country no. and rap. I would say yes and no. The reason yeah. I would say yes is because clearly we infiltrated their shit and they was and, and yeah. M infiltrated ours. But they were in a fucking uproar. Yeah. We immediately accept Eminem mm-hmm. when it, hi kids. You like um, you like violins? Want to stick nine inch nails to each one of your eyelids? We ate that shit up while I was in eighth grade. One second, girl, you was in like fifth probably. Did y'all not love Eminem for that stupid shit? Yep. And, and the D twelve shit, the purple purple hills mm-hmm. fire. Purple saying pills. that, like I, I remember buying a D twelve purple. What was the first album called? That was night. That was night. Yeah. Girl, like, did y'all ever, as y'all culture and y'all, you like younger, did y'all ever try to get Eminem out of here? Hell no. Nah. Did y'all ever try to get D twelve out of here? Nope. Guess what? They, they try to get little Nas X out of here though. Absolutely. In their culture. And that's the difference between cultures though. We don't. We that's, 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 that's the only thing I'm saying. That's the only thing I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. That's the only thing I'm trying to say. Well, listen, I want to ask you this. Do you do you think that topically that's a problem? But do you think it's a real problem that we're accepting? 
That would we be less accepting? I mean, see, then it gets deeper. Like, like all right, no, this is going to take a turn because it's deeper than just a yes or no answer. For example, we as a whole, black people was upset because when Dylan Roof was able to go into church and shoot everything up, mm-hmm. we, we said, church. if we just stop certain people, like, no, you're weird, you look weird, you're not mm-hmm. coming in this bitch, or, or at least took more Care. more worry mm-hmm. over what just happened, then maybe that wouldn't have happened. Mm-hmm. So are we too accepting? Yeah, we it's are. I mean, we, we, it still could have happened. Yeah. We also watched, um, um, damn it, um, the dude who got shot in his own apartment by the cop, his brother wouldn't hold her. The witnesses, the, the yeah, judges, yeah. crowned that we're accepting this shit. Oh, that Botham Jean? Yeah, Botham Jean. There we go. Oh, Jean R R P. So that's so. You really ask me that, and I get those references. Are we to accepting? You tell me when you're watching, are our people that are hurting us, and we just we just. I, I, cool. I, I didn't ask it as a yes or no because, uh, bro, we <laughs> we homies, and I I know how you think. I'm leading you. I guess I'm leading you to the. I don't know what to do about it though. I can't help but be accepting to people because. As much as shit get kicked on us, I will never be a part of that with anybody else. I'm gonna have to hear this M interview at the end of the day. Not the end interview. Just, I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm saying. Just shit on people. Just to wrap it up. Um, I just love that Eminem said. Even though I don't believe him, I love he said that. Um, he's a guest because he's a, is a guest. I don't know why yeah. you believe. No, I just I don't because I don't know. He he, he knows. I it's think, not like I think, he's, aware. I think he's aware yeah. of his skill. I think he knows he he kicks ass. But I can't say I kick ass. You ever been a guest of some shit? Kick ass? Yeah, that's why you can't say it. You got, you got, thank, you got, thank you for having me. I appreciate I, it. I watch you go to a party yeah, without something you. and leave with something. I, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Oh, you want to talk about that? I mean, we can't. I don't do something. Like, king with none left with one? Oh, it's on a female. Yeah, that's just wild. <laughs> I was like, like I was a young boy as well. That's God, but God, yeah. God, God forgive. I, I believe on some level he believes that he has enough friends in the actual culture who live the mm-hmm. actual life. But I'm not going to discredit his struggle because all he ever talked about was his struggle. He never mm-hmm. claimed to sell drugs. He never claimed to be the hardest dude on the block. He never even claimed best rapper in nowhere. He yeah. just do what he do. He probably didn't get his shit off. But yeah, maybe off the record. But he rapped with Proof, a dope rapper. He's from Detroit, a tough city. He rapped with Royce, who was one of the top tier lyricists that we know in this shit. And now people like Crook and, and them is fucking with him. Dre, one of the dopest producers of all time, has validated this dude from the jump. Dre gave him this shit. We heard him in the Rap Olympics before he was ever famous. And he was already being accepted. We also, we also heard people be beaten in a lot of Rap Olympics before they were famous. They yeah. didn't get there because it was trash. They yeah. just didn't somehow make it. But that don't mean just because we heard you there first. Like, but we do know that this thing is a sta- it's a standout game. And his thing Vince is- Carter still dumped on the 7 footer in the... In the oh man. And Vince Carter stood out for that. But who is that guy? I don't fucking know. But yet he was still on the there in the same stage. Because it was uh it was the um I wanna say WBC, the, the world basketball shit. Yeah, it before was, the Olympics. I'm just saying just because you was there, like was, No, no, I'm not saying just because you was there. I'm saying he was there and won. He won the year that Dre heard him and gave him the, the look. Whatever the case is, M said he was a guest. Yeah, I'm only saying interview, and I respect him as a lyricist. I respect him his talent, what? and I'm a big Eminem fan, and I love Eminem music, and I will always let, let none of this shit. debate fool y'all from the fact that we know where he stands in the hip hop shit. But if it has to be asked and said, I'm sure Black Panthers would love to shout. Um, and it's hard to like shit that it's hard to like people that um Rosa Parks was shot in the face. Facts. Lord Jamar followed up. I'm then. sorry, Harry Tubman. Lord Jamar. Rosa probably would have too. Salute her. Lord Jamar followed up the M interview. And as soon as the interview posted, first thing I see, actually the thing I saw was uh, Eminem admits that he's a guest in hip hop. And then the next slide was, and Lord Jamar claims victory in the beat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he don't get the victory. That's but, all, but that, that is that, what that, he that, was that, saying. That's why I'm that that going to get back into it. That is what he was saying. Okay. That was the argument. You're a guest here. We allowed you in here. And then, then, then that's it. Then yeah, he yeah, won. Yeah, yeah. Victory. It was, it's comedy. Jamar, I, I don't know if Lord Jamar funny dude. I don't know shit about him, honestly. But um, let's move to some important shit. Making the band might have a reboot. That would be dope. I would, I would be. I would definitely be in here for uh, Diddy's making the band. I would like to know how he's doing it though. Um, I hope. I don't I know like, how much credence we can put in it. Um, it's, he not was, in, it's not MTV. <laughs> he. Let me explain. Oh, sorry. He didn't. He, there wasn't any validity to it. He was being rolled into surgery. And as he was being rolled into surgery, somehow somebody caught him on camera. And him. What the fuck was he doing being rolled into surgery? I don't know what the surgery is for. He's they getting hip. Say. If we had a guest, did he get his <laughs> hips done? 
Was Diddy getting his hips done? Why tips? I don't know. Diddy dancing ass nigga. I'm trying to think what what did he need hips or what, what did he need done? I don't know. Too much party partying. I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. But he was being rolled into surgery, and as he's being rolled into surgery, he threw it out that he wants to reboot making it back. That would be a mean ass rollout if he was friend. Like he really wasn't having surgery. First of all, it's, does it TV still exist in that same capacity? I know they're uh, there, but. I impress the power from the TV button in a minute. I go straight to Netflix. Salute to the guy. I watch TV and I watch Hulu, but um, I ain't watching no fucking on TV. But we ain't the target market. We 30. 30 plus. I guess. But um, The target market is like 12 to 16 or something like that. 12 to 24. I'm here for a making band. <laughs> if it really, if they aired, would you watch it? Yeah, as much as I could. I mean, how, where, where is it being? I know. First, we have to figure out what channel it's on. <laughs> Let's just say it was available and, and avail- it was there for me to click. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm definitely watching Making the Band. Right. Me personally, because that was my era and, and I really fuck with it. I love the whole setup. Yeah, we, we watched the like, show every week. Everything about Making the Band was like my I would shit, love to so. see the old group get brought back for like mentorship or some shit somehow. I don't know. I, you know, however how that shit works out. No, I would like the old, they stay with it. Instead of walking for the cheesecake. No, nah, Ness, Ness is battling. Mm-hmm. Um, Babs, Babs is the head of a battle league for the females. Um, it, for a queen of the oh, that is the the hoodest um, chick. What's what's the light skin chick though? That's Sarah. I don't know what she's doing today. I'm trying to see. She I don't know what Chop. I don't know. What, I don't know what Chopper doing. I don't know what Freddie P is doing. They still play. Um, is, is Chopper in jail? Real shit. No, Freddie P. Oh, Fred, Freddie P in jail. Where was Freddie P from? Miami. Miami. Hey. And Chopper was from Mino, right? Yeah. So I don't know, but I just um, I'm I'm here for making them bad. I'm just trying to see what Sarah. Doing. I don't know. She had a great voice, though. I just know that um, I bought almost everything they had. She had a great look, too. Yeah, she was cool. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? No, I just ain't nothing else to say about it. Last week, you were saying some questionable shit. What'd I say? You smile like, um, what'd you say? You would um let Gabrielle, you and you, um, get the fuck her in your dreams and shit? Y'all oh, want you? Oh, he oh. said he would let Gabrielle even slap him in the face and shit. Bro. Or some shit. You was, you, whatever celebrity you had or, or uh, whatever celebrity... You you was it was it so fuck? Huh? Would I let Gabrielle even slap me in the fuck or something like that? Or, or yeah, you you were into some some heavy BS DM type shit with Gabrielle. Well, we weren't. Oh oh no, I was here with you. I was, I was, with you. I was, I remember, I was juggling with Guru. Guru, because Guru was acting like he wouldn't touch Gabby, and I was looking at Guru like he was stupid. It was like, would you like she, if she was trying to bitch you or some shit? I was like, I like Gabrielle. Yeah, I like Gabrielle. You even put me in my place. And then my my fucking rebuttal was. Uh, me alone over Gabriel. And I'm not. All right, but first of all, that, away from that, Eric Twenty Eight shit. You don't even know about Nia Long except Google, nigga. Well, I ain't know about Nia, Nia Long. Nia Long. I know about Nia Long. Away from that shit, though. Erica Badu. That that's not questionable. Even Erica Badu. Her damn vagina scent. It released. The scent released. You sniffed it. <laughs> I don't have a good sense of smell. You ain't put your face you know, in it. I wouldn't. Well, why not? Well, you know I have a good sense of smell, so I can't smell. So you wouldn't put your face in it? Though? Why would I put my face in something I can't smell? You see, you wouldn't put your Wait, face we in it. Wait, are we talking about her actual vagina? However you want to take it. If it's her actual vagina, vagina, of course. But I, I don't have a good sense of smell, so I'm not just going to be sniffing the perfume. And I damn sure ain't so going to be So what, what if it's some bad kitty and you don't even know because you can't smell it? You I can just, smell. You can't even give a chick a, sn- a smell test, a sniff test. I have a sense of taste. I, I, without the <laughs> good shit, but without your nose working, your taste is trash. I was, I'm gonna answer both questions. So as it is, it ain't that I can't smell at all. I can smell. I can smell very strong smells. So if you musty or some shit, I can smell it. And if something's very fragrant, like um, you know how when you spray like air freshener or some shit, if it's like strong, I can smell it. I can't smell like medium scents if that makes sense. My I have a, a nose, ear, nose, throat thing. They said I needed surgery as a kid. I never got it. I can't smell. Slight sense. So if it's like a light fragrance, I can smell it. But if it's strong, you know, I, remember the Ebor bitch I kicked out my crib because of the situation with her shit. That was the cousin of the homie. No one know. Wait, what? No. I'm asking you. Do you know? No. Do you remember? Nope. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the audio and the visual. Nobody knew what the fuck you were just saying just now. So a word. No. Oh, we did. Uh, you were speaking. Don't get us. Those who's watching, you see the reaction. Shit, but anyway, man, um, I was messing with I, I was messing with a chick out of E Boy. We went back to the spot on some one night stand shit. Mm. We got to the shit, so I'm getting my neck. And when you get in neck, yeah, it's only man. customary to <laughs> finger a bitch while you're doing it. Excuse my B with word usage. And I I take a little like pass by. I wasn't even like trying to smell. I wasn't even doing like the smell <laughs> test. I was just doing some regular like like I was just moving wow. my hand back. 
So we you was really rocking with it. Wow. I mean, you know, you know, really rocking. Like, you know, you know how you do a smell. I wasn't. I don't do smell tests because like traffic control. Like, smell, what the fuck? Smell's not my first go to because I can't smell. But as she giving me the neck, I finger a little bit, and I just put my hands back to where they were, like behind my head or whatever the fuck I was doing. And I go, what the fuck was that? So I take the double take. You thought you was fishing? I go. Nigga, I thought I was in Long John's. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> no, Long John's don't smell like that. Nah, I, no, Long John's don't smell like that. Don't say that shit. Thanks for the update, motherfucker. But anyway, I just I go past my shit. I go past my shit. I go, you with a John Cena? He was like, you can't see. <laughs> like, you, you ain't Tony Ayo? Whatever the fuck I was doing, I went from finger her while she you show on like all fours leaning over. Michael, why did you stop? It went. It was, Did you do like old school cartoon with the with the with the, with the clothes pin on your nose like that? <laughs> No man, I'll tell you a real story. <laughs> I, I fucking I put my I go from finger from behind, y'all see this on camera, and I go to put my hands back where they was, and just enough of it caught. Like I said, I can't tell. Did she even fold your fitted hat back? It's like like the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Fold it back to smell it. All I know is I went past and I go, what the fuck was that? And I take a closer investigation. <laughs> and with my limited scent, I, I go, if I could smell this, shit, I was like, this bitch is pungent. <laughs> This shit was, I, I couldn't believe it. I said, I, I excuse my language, ladies, and this is probably. No, 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 that's how you. I straight up said, I straight up said, I straight up said, I straight up said, bitch, you gotta go. She's you in the middle giving go. me head. Oh. I, she's in the middle giving me head. I go, no, no, <laughs> you, you gotta go. And I, she's trying to figure out why. And I was like, I, man, I can't do this shit. You gotta go. I kick her out. She left. I take my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I Kareem Abdul Jabbar those shits into the washer <laughs> with some pine saw and bleach water and I cleaned the shits up. I called this nigga Steve, he was he was indisposed. But I talked to him again in the morning. I was like, yo oh bro, her, her shit wasn't right. And now I look back at 34, I say, maybe we should have came straight from the club, maybe she should have took a shower. I don't know. <laughs> That's all her. That's her business. Ain't got nothing to do with me. She came how she came and got kicked out for it. Sorry for her. Wow. This nigga say he Kareem. <laughs> Kareem the shit. That's now. a wild thing. She was wild, man. That's a wild thing. I can't movie. believe her. Yeah, her wow. That's a wild thing. So anyway, back to Erica Badu. Everybody, so to, if we talk about putting my face in Erica Badu, I would gladly do it. Gladly. I would explore. But I, that's what I'm saying. If I'm face to face with the puss, I can smell if it's bad or not. I can't smell fair sense. Like, I can't. Yeah, I understand. You can't. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Erica Badu um, scent, like again. I wonder I would, what it smells like. I would love to check it out, and I would really? definitely burn it. But I eat the what? The the what? The scent. So the, the, there was a video I shared in the group where the homie <laughs> had the incense. He actually bought these shits. Yeah. And this thing, I thought he was gonna light it with the fucking fire, like you do incense. This was where they ate this shit, and was about to eat some more. No, would you eat it? Was the question coming to this? The actual, the actual incident. Nah, I can't. I First can't of all, what's incident myself. made of to be eaten? I can't. I can't imagine. No, it's probably no. It's probably a joke. He probably wasn't literally innocent. He probably like switched it between some shit that's literally actually edible. I don't know what's like that. Well, I would. It's the internet. <laughs> Niggas gonna get popping because we're talking about now. Like I wish I knew his name to give him props, but whatever shit is. Um, we'll find him. No, I would love to know what um. What what this what the sin is like, and I definitely would uh partake in um in in, um, in flaming the shit up on a regular basis. So you you know about pheromones and shit, right? Absolutely. And for the most part, when you encounter a woman, they should smell like nothing or positive, if that makes sense. If there is a sin, it should be something that you're attracted to because of pheromones. This is where we should have a woman on the podcast right now. Yeah, definitely. We definitely need a woman here. To put okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna put those three right there. Yeah. Oh snap, I'm getting phone calls. <laughs> hey, Chrissy, stop. Real quick, this is uh, Steve. Oh, that's Chrissy, right. Chrissy, this, stop talking. Listen, this is, Steve. Give a this, is, <laughs> this is Steve Cash from the Portal Podcast. I have a question from you, and we're live right now. Just listen, please. Just listen. Chrissy. All right, we're discussing vaginas, right? Oh, my God. Now, I just have a question. What scent is like? What's a regular scent of a woman? Because we're discussing the Erica Badu um, um, incense that she just released. I'm not sure if you're aware of it. I, I heard about it. Okay, like what exactly do you? If you had to guess what her scent or what a regular scent should smell like, because we're not sure exactly. We're just trying to guess what they smell like. I think it should smell like almost like nothing to. Uh, like water. Yeah, like yeah, water, right? Water was exactly what it was. Like aqua, 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 aquafina, or like aquafina, or like um, cross Fletcher. 
don't know what that is. Yeah, don't even sign the Hillsborough yeah. River. What about Low Tide? Not that either. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just, oh, I thought that was normal. I just, all right, because Mike's been sleeping with a female who smells like Low Tide. Oh, wow. I actually call her Low Tide. Wow. She, she take it as a compliment. Wow. But I do it. Yes, like I, that. I call her low tie. She take it as a compliment. Like Binti Davis. <laughs> yes, that's it. Like Binti Davis. That's perfect. Oh no, Binti Davis is like radioactive sewage. <laughs> but Chrissy, I do, I do appreciate you answering. I just think we just need to make sure that it's supposed to smell like water next to Wait, that. That's a, that's a follow up. I'm sorry, Chrissy. One second, guys. Like, I'm sorry. I said now I'm gonna block you. I'm never answering your calls again. <laughs> hey, hey, Chrissy, can I ask a question? So, are you familiar with? She didn't answer. Did you, Chrissy? Do you give consent to him to ask you a question? Oh, I didn't know she heard me. She might have thought. Okay, she she gave consent to the question. I appreciate you giving me consent. No, me too. Um, are you? You seem like somebody who is familiar with scents and smells. A lot of women are. Pheromones are a thing, right? They are. And to some, like to people, pheromones have a scent, either positive or negative. Correct. If the scent isn't water. How would you describe a positive scent? Like, I don't know how to just, like, I feel like if she's selling it, she ain't selling no scent of water. Um, I would say something fresh. Okay. Something like clean sheets or rain. That brings joy. Okay. I like that answer. Yeah, Look at you. Yeah, that's fire. So I feel like Erica Badu's scent brings joy. Okay. Well, maybe she calls it joy. All right, Chrissy, thank you so thank much. You. I do appreciate, appreciate you for answering. Or for answering, yeah, answering a phone call because I know you don't really fuck with me like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good night. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so fresh. The I, scent of fresh. I knew this because I, I have to read about it because I can't tell myself. But Can I'm just saying one word I, for it. One word for over Erica Badu's shit? Yeah, I, like I said what? it earlier. Oh, we was in the group chat. Huh? I've been drinking. <laughs> I texted it earlier, but I if I had to pick a scent for Erica Badu shit, it's not one word, it's a couple words, but I said sage and cocoa butter. She just looked like she smelled good all the time and everything. The title smelled. of the episode. There you go. Right there. Shout Save out to the couple, producers. If you had to guess what it did, you think it's a positive or negative smell? Like we talking about Eric. Definitely positive. positive. And if you had to put a name on it, like what a title, like what would you liken it to? I don't know, man. What's I would a, like to um What's the smell you like? Like people like clean cheese, new car. I guess if it's people related. I say cocoa butter because you know how like, the earthy sisters be puss. Positive puss. Puss in boots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. I don't know about boots. You don't know puss in boots. I don't know puss, puss in boots. Is. I'm talking about boots. That was the smoothest cat in the world. I'm talking about oh, puss in boots got G. So I, I wouldn't be, be mad at a puss in boots. Puss in boots will bag your girl. Watch puss in boots. But no, excuse me, Antonio Banderas. But no, I'm talking about like in terms of naming the scent. Like what? She she had to name it. She didn't call it Erica Badu's vagina. She could have. I feel like an earthy chick got like an earthy smell, and I feel like cocoa butter is where it's at. I'm down. I understand that. I'm with it. I wear cocoa butter on a regular basis. If we had a budget, I'd say we should buy some, but we don't have a budget. So we can't. We can only speculate. Yeah. How much do you think it costs? That's a good question. $40. For the producer. $40. $40? Yeah. That's like the standard price. Never mind. Oh, you still vagina purchaser. I never have, actually. But I'll play it to the joke. Honestly, how much do you think it costs? I don't know, the though. Incense. Oh, oh, real shit. The it's incense, bro. We're talking like five ninety nine. The incense. The incense. I said five ninety nine. Is there also uh, perfume? Nine yeah, the incense. I said sixty for the perfume. No one, one twenty. Sixty for the incense. No. Why is it the perfume? The incense is fifty. We're talking about fifty dollars. Oh, oh. God. God damn. He said, if y'all are here, here off air, he said fifty dollars for the incense. Well, I mean, get your bread. Sell, so you know, the, you know the perfume at least six hundred. Sell that shit. Yeah. How much the perfume? I'll tell you. So we, all right. So the incense is fifty. The perfume is could be. I, I all right, Mike. Quick guess. Seventy nine ninety nine. I'm guessing her perfume is seventy nine ninety nine. No, I say in the four fifty range. Two fifty. Damn. This is Erica Badu though. Get 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 your bread. We saw what she did the three K and. I want to my smell. Shit, close, pause. I don't even know. I don't know if that's a sellable mic. Move on. <laughs> dad bought. Dad bought. <laughs> Claire bought. Dad bought by Claude is 
fire. <laughs> Only person buying is your wife. So y'all talking about pussy boots? My smell is is dick and beer. <laughs> <laughs> Why would a dick be in a beer be weirdo? Uh, <laughs> unless <laughs> unless <laughs> Lord got a dick on his beard. That's wild. Unless he filmed the porn for a billion dollars. He backed the porn. The the porn. He filmed the porn for a billion. So where the fuck we at right now? Mister Dick and Beard over here. Calm down. Where we at right now? I thought y'all was gonna record. Y'all were gonna review some. We were gonna review some. Alright, so I'm bringing Rillis back in. We out there. Rillis back in. That is my real job. Alright, we gonna say Billy Eilish. We're gonna go with you. I'm gonna backtrack for a second because I'm I'm getting a return call. It's back back to the Regina shit. Just give me one quick second. It's live. Turn those on. Hey, Aja, real quick. This is a Steve Cash from Pora Podcast, and you're alive. And Mike Lake. Immediate laugh. I called you because I had a question, which we're going to have to backtrack to. Do you do you got a quick second? Sure. Okay. Do you are you aware of Erica Badu releasing her Regina scent um, incense? No, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, yeah, she released an incense that um that involves her Regina scent. Now we was questioning exactly probably what should this smell like because we were very confused. So I was like, you know what? Let me hit up. I think we need a female input on probably what it should smell we like. We need an expert. What it should smell like versus what it actually smells like. Mm-hmm. So my question to you, if you got a quick second, uh-huh. if you had to guess what what should a vagina scented incense smell like? <laughs> what well, isn't your vagina supposed to smell like anything? Thank you. <laughs> Good. If it, has, if it has any odor past the soap you're bathing in, that's gonna be questionable. Okay. You know who had a very similar answer to you? Who? Oh. Chrissy. Really? Yeah, that's a little scary. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it's on Percy and me, I'm, I'm going to be kind of... You were question, you question, question, questionable. It's going to be skeptical, yeah. Okay. How and is she selling the scent then? All right, but it has to be smelling like something. But before I let you go, Aja, real quick, um, if you had to name a scent, matter of fact, if you had to name your vagina scent, Aja, what would your vagina scent be? Pineapple paradise. Oh shit! Ow! Hey, uh, how much? <laughs> how, much how much that cost? Aja, how much are you selling your scent for, Aja? How much does that cost? It's prices. I gotta think about it. I hear that. It's right on the spot. I, I fully get it. That's a good I answer. Fully get it. That's the best answer you could have said. Thank you so much for calling me back and clarifying this because I was I was just so confused and lost. I, You're welcome. I, 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 I want to come next week. Aja, we t- we working on some buzz, but we you know what I mean. We'll talk about it. Appreciate talk, talk to the executive producer. <laughs> I'll text you, Aja. We'll discuss. Okay. All right. I love you and talk to you later. Appreciate you, Aja. Hung up. She's been a guest on the show before. Shouts to her. That's the hey, water is the answer. Water should be, the, but she has to be selling something. It can't smell like nothing. You think I mean, she don't get dudes with the water scent? Um, more has happened for less. Facts. All right, let's get out of here. Real quick, two albums dropped this week. We're not gonna get into our review. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna give you a, a top a surface review and get the hell out of here. We'll give a deep deep dive next week. Uh, two chains dropped is no face no case. Talk to me about it. Uh, he put his squad on. I like that. I like I like the whole project as a whole. Um, I like them. I'm a fan of uh, their whatever that squad name is. If they even have one, it was not true. That been his shit from jump. So whatever whatever they whatever they shit is, I fuck with it, and I recommend everyone go to listen to it. And plus, support on um, Chains. I'm saying he's a legend in the game. He's been in longevity. He's been doing this for a very long time. Yeah, it's true. Every song got true on TRU acronym. Yeah, so every every that. yeah, salute the Chains, man. They um. I heard a couple songs off of it. It's definitely got some ride to it. Chain's been consistent for a minute. I don't remember what the last album was, but actually, I should be able to just look that shit up. But uh, Chain's been consistent. He's been killing it. <clears throat> if you put the put the, put the fam on, I, I'm going to check the whole thing out. The reason we not re- well, we don't have time, but also I didn't hear it, and you didn't listen to the full allegory, which is the, the Royce one. Right. Would you be willing to rate it, or do you want to save it? I'm not rating that right now. I, the Royce... Race no, 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 I mean the, uh, the, the two chains. No, nah, not doing that neither right now. Okay. It'll be unfair. because That's just going to be like an 18 on a scale of 1 through 10. <laughs> it won't be right. It won't be right. Uh, the allegory dropped this week too. Royce the, Royce the Five Nines album. He fully produced the whole album, mm-hmm. which is impressive. Uh, Eminem talked about that too. He uh, Royce essentially confirmed that M 
gave him the boost, to, the confidence to be like, produce the whole shit. The production was tough. The album was tough. And do I have do I have to mention the bars is rest? The bars was there. Yeah. The biggest thing I loved about it is a thematic album, uh, concept album, if you will. And um, the allegory is an allegory for our plight in America right now. I'll just say that. Okay. I'll give you that. Listen to the album. It's tough. He talked about money, making money, being tricked. Talking about the the, the talking about slavery. Uh, one of the bars he dropped in one of his uh, one of his end song features was uh, about segregation versus separation. Segregation being told where I, where I'm supposed to go. Separation is me decide. Basically, him deciding where he wanted to go. Mm-hmm. And this is the same kind of idea he continued in his whole album. You choosing how you do it. Um, he has some dope skits on there. It's a dope album. I like it. I, I think y'all should listen to it, but be prepared. This is a bar fest. It's a feast, if you will. You got to sit down and listen to shit. This ain't no background music, as you said at the opener. It's Royce. It's a full plate of, of heavy shit that you got to listen to. I don't think a lot of people are ready for it. All right. But I liked it. Dope. I already high. We'll bring that shit next week. Yeah, I'm not going to get but it's Royce. And that's that. So check out the allegory. Check out... Uh, by Royce and uh, two chains, uh, no case, no face, no case. Also, next week we we'll have some no- more new music. Anything else? Um, no, I think we're checking out. We are checking out. After checking out, we're gonna check out. I am Mike Lake. This is Steve Cash Money Bags, aka the Fitness Eddie, aka the Young Vampire. Catch me by the campfire where you tell stories about your boy, better known as Young Leonidas. I ain't just write this; I'm just like this. Aka Mr. Slurpee. Pause. Yo. <laughs> That's a wild ass nigga at the boards. Wild nigga at the boards. Real nigga checking out. <laughs> Support podcast. We out. Like, what if don't shit really boring about it? Like, let Tia answer. So many great outtakes. Hey, Tia, uh, you're uh, live right now with Steve Cash from Poor Podcast. So confused as men. So, what would a vagina scented incense smell like? I don't know what to expect. You have a yeast infection, it's gonna smell like bread. <laughs> Yo! Bye. Bye. What should a vagina scented incense smell like? Starburst, the pink one. Starburst, the pink one. That's the whole name, Starburst, the pink one? Okay. All right, are we recording? Last one. Listen. Hopefully, hopefully they pick up. Claude, get ready. Claude, we good? Listen. Hey, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? This is Steve Cash from the Poor Podcast. Just talking about it the whole fucking time. Yeah, this means the bar. But you don't run it. I do. For those who can't see, this is the actual audio board. Fuck this video shit. I'm about to flip this camera over. I'm about to flip this camera over. Hey, fuck this camera. I'm about to flip this shit over. Matter of fact, Steve, you got some matches or something? You like this whole shit up here.